Hello my dear students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today I am going to present you the most important topic, was analysis. This was analysis Rika, reaction is can going to be given for any unsaturated hydrocarbon. So it could be alkene or alkane. Definitely based on the analysis of the was analysis, you may get a question from the NEET examination. This is actually used for locating the position of a double bond or a triple bond given in an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So before going for the session, I just want to present you the score examination. So India's largest scholarship examination, this score examination gives you the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and a laptop gift also and also educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship. So while yet in the description box, the link is available, you click on that link and uh, fill that uh, details and you are going to enjoy the score examination. All the best my dear students to avail all the facilities depending upon your performance. And you may be a student of Infinity Learn, you may be a student of any other institute, still you are eligible to write this score examination. So this score examination is completely online, you can sit at home and you can write the examination. All the best and click the link available in the description box and pinned messages also and fill the form and write the examination okay all the best and one more important thing i just want to show whenever you are preparing for any examination you have to go for the where you stand and how you are preparing for that a proper assessment is required infinity line is coming up with scientifically designed assessment program neat 2025 all india test series pack and this test series pack contains 27 AITS examination, 30 unit test, 4 part test and grant test based on NEET pattern and also 20 NEET full syllabus mock test and 25 NEET topic wise PYQs, 3 physics chemistry books along with solutions on the app and detailed solutions and your performance reports, in-depth analysis is given by infinity learn and your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students and these many facilities who is going to give just infinity learn wanted to give on a special discount so it was actually 5999 after and uh, if you enter YouTube 50 of the coupon code you are going to get limited time 50 percent off so that you are going to get for 2999 and itna sasta kon dega infinity land the sekte in the description box link is available and you just click it and uh, you enjoy seamless preparation for neat examination all the best and we are going into the details of ozonolysis by using ozone we are breaking the double bond and giving a carbonyl compound respect to carbonyl compound Based on this respect to carbonyl compound, you can assess exactly where the carbon to carbon double bond is present. This is called ozonolysis. So, <coughs> on reaction with ozone, carbon to carbon double bond is going to be cleaved so that you are going to get oxidized product and the product is going to be carbonyl products. And working on this carbonyl product, you can just come to know the location of the double bond. Let us see actually what is the mechanism for the ozonolysis. So when carbon to carbon double bond is there, ozone is being added to the two atoms and three atoms of ozone is added, 3 plus 2 addition takes place to get, you are going to see unstable ozonide, primary ozonide, this is also called as a molozonide, it is very unstable because of high ring strain. So that the bond is going to be automatically cleaved so that you are going to get a carbonyl part and a carbonyl dipole part so that you are going to get a 1, 2, 4 trioxalane it is also called as ozonide. This ozonide is going to be worked up either by oxidation process or a reduction process. Let us see oxidative ozonolysis and reductive ozonolysis from here. <coughs> <coughs> Moving ahead, you can see you got ozonide from the previous slide. This ozonide is treated with DMS in the presence of zinc and acid. Zinc acts as a reducing agent. When this ozonide is hydrolyzed, 
the corresponding carbonyls that are formed cannot be further oxidized. So that you are going to see the formation of either aldehyde or a ketone and this is what is called as reductive ozonolysis. When it comes to in the presence of hydrogen peroxide in the aqueous medium or any acidic medium, the ozonide that is formed to get the ketone and the aldehyde it is that is formed like this is going to be oxidized because you have an uh, oxidizing agent over here. So that you are going to see this carboxylic group is the end of the product and this is what is called as a oxidative ozonolysis and this is called as a reductive ozonolysis. So this is the ozonolysis process. And let us look into the actual scenario where an alkene or any unsaturated compound is given, how you just proceed to get the product. Whenever this cyclohexene is given, simple trick I just want to say, break this carbon to carbon double bond and put your oxygen over there so that you are going to get cyclohexane diol. So this is the actual product. So, you cannot break it here. If you want to break it, this is the product. So, carbon to carbon sigma bond, you do not going to break it. This is the wrong product and this is actual correct product. And if kind of complicated structures are given like this, multiple bonds are there. So, here carbon to carbon double bond is seen. Carbon to carbon double bond is seen. When in the presence of ozone and zinc, DMS is a solvent, you can go with the zinc hydrolysis, reductive analysis. So you are going to see the bond broken here and it forms a single molecule. So like that, based on this product, what could be the corresponding alkene? That is called retroanalysis based on this equation can be getting. And also you can see a substituted product and here carbon to carbon double bond is broken in the presence of zinc and you are going to see the formation of two different molecules and if this is given you can just simply remove the oxygen and you can form a cyclic compound like this and you can also see when this kind of compounds are given <coughs> during ozonolysis wherever you go for the ozonolysis process is simply just manage to count this number of carbon atoms that is there in the reactant and the product. Number of carbon should be conserved. You can see I can see 6, 7, 8, 9 carbons are there and you can break this here and if you break it you are going to get a ketone over here and you are going to get a ketone over here cyclohexanone is the correct product. When you want to do this you are not going to manage this. So, this carbon is not a tetravalent. This carbon is not a tetravalent. This is a wrong product. So, simple tricks you use it to get the correct product in the ozonolysis. And also, when you talk about this structure, linear structure, you are going to have a double bond over here. You are going to get a double bond over here. When you do so, you just break it here. You just break it here. There are 13 carbons, the product you are going to get 1, 2, 3 is going to give acetone over here and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is going to give another carbonyl group and of course in the presence of H2O2, aldehyde is going to be converted into a ketone, uh, aldehyde is going to be converted into a carboxylic group but uh, ketones cannot be further oxidized, so ketone, ketone yoga. Ketones are oxidized karna muskil hai. And this is going to be 11, 12, 13, 4, 11, <coughs> 12, 13 is going to be, you are going to be another product, it is also a ketone product. Like that total number 1 to 13 carbon has to be checked and given this correct product according to ozonolysis process. And today we have seen what is ozonolysis and for what it is done and uh, and how the mechanism is and uh, a alkene is given and uh, how the products are going to be presented. And hope you like this session. Please like this session and uh, share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Learn YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.